If artificial intelligence had an objective and humanity were in its way, it would destroy humanity without even thinking about it. It's like if we were building a road and an ant hill was in the way, we don't have any ill will towards the ants, we're just building a road. So goodbye ant hill. The biggest issue I see with so-called AI experts is that they, they think they know more than they do. Um, and they think they're smarter than they actually are. I don't think most people understand how quickly artificial intelligence is advancing. It's much faster than anyone realizes, even in Silicon Valley, let alone outside of it. People have no idea. If there were a super intelligence, particularly if it was engaged in recursive self-improvement, and if its optimization function or utility function was something harmful to humanity, it would cause a very bad effect. They define themselves by their intelligence, and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them. It might even be something like getting rid of spam and it might conclude that the best way to get rid of spam is to get rid of humans. Um, I'm, not, I'm not predicting that we're about to enter dark ages, but that there's some probability that we will, particularly if there's a third world war. I think the best thing to do would be to apply the progress of digital intelligence against time and then maybe curve or extrapolate that progress and see where it leads. They have the intention of their preset utility function but it can have unintended consequences. I think the biggest risk is not that it develops a will of its own, but rather it follows the will of the people who set its utility function or its optimization function and that optimization function if not well designed, I mean even if its intention was benign, it could have a rather dangerous outcome. For example if you're a private equity fund and you say what I want my artificial intelligence to do is maximize the value of my portfolio, then it might think the best way to do that is to short consumer stocks, buy defense stocks, start a war. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows. And the rate of improvement is exponential. And that would be pretty dangerous. I'm worried about some directions that it might take that wouldn't be good for the future. I think it's fair to say that not all AI functions are benign, not all of them. And so if we create a super digital intelligence that surpasses us in every way, it's very important that it's benign. There's a quote that I love from Lord Acton, he was the man who wrote, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely. So you used to have more hope, and you gave up some of it, and now you don't worry as much about AI, you're like, this is just what it is. Yeah, pretty much. We should be careful, they are concentrating it in the hands of a few because it would lead to a world that we do not want. It's difficult, I mean it's difficult to predict exactly what the future could be. I can say that I don't know many people who love the idea of living under a tyrant. But this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. I think people generally prefer democracy to dictatorship. If you assume any rate of advancement in AI, we will be left far behind and so we could be in a benign situation but even a benign situation if there's an ultra-intelligent AI, we would be so beneath them in terms of intelligence that we would be like a pet. Their memory is very good. I bet it's really good. It's really good. I bet it is. Yes. And getting better every day. It's really good. But that honestly would be the favorable scenario. The rate of advancement is really dramatic and we need to find a way to ensure that the advent of digital super intelligence is symbiotic with humanity. I think this is the greatest existential crisis that we need to face, the most urgent. We will not be able to hold a candle to AI. I think one of the solutions, the solution that seems perhaps the best is to integrate AI into ourselves. We have our limbic system, the cortex, and then we'll add a digital layer, sort of a third layer above the cortex that could work symbiotically with you. I think it's incredibly important that AI not be an external thing, we need to be it and I may be wrong about what I'm saying and I'm certainly open to ideas if someone can suggest a better path. But I think we really need to merge with AI or we'll be left behind. Um, so the, the rate of improvement is really dramatic, but we have to figure out some way to ensure that the advent of digital superintelligence is one which is symbiotic with humanity.
Music, we're doing something very risky with the atmosphere and oceans, we're taking huge amounts of carbon from deep underground and putting it into the atmosphere. This is crazy, we shouldn't be doing it, it's very dangerous. This is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. We'll have to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. I mean the bizarre thing is that obviously. Artificial intelligence, AI, has come a long way in recent years and will likely continue to evolve in the future. Some key areas that are expected to drive the evolution of AI include Maybe six to nine months it went from being unable to beat even a reasonably good Go player to then beating the European world champion who was ranked 600. Machine learning, AI systems will continue to become more sophisticated in their ability to learn from data and improve their performance over time. Yes, it, it's less of a worry than it used to be, uh, mostly due to taking more of a fatalistic attitude. Big data. As more data becomes available, AI systems will have more to learn from and will become better at making predictions and decisions. Hardware advancements. As processors and other hardware components become more powerful and efficient, AI systems will be able to run more complex algorithms and make more accurate predictions. And it, it can play basically any game that you put the rules in for. If you, whatever rules you give it, just, you literally read the rules, play the game, and be superhuman. For any game. Interdisciplinary research. Progress in fields such as neuroscience and cognitive science will help AI researchers understand how the human brain works and how to replicate its capabilities in machines. Development of new AI techniques. As researchers continue to develop new techniques such as reinforcement learning, generative models, and meta-learning, AI systems will become more flexible and adaptable. Overall, AI will continue to evolve and become more powerful, but the rate of progress will depend on the availability of data and computational resources, as well as advances in related fields. It, 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 will, it will result in dislocation, uh, in lost jobs, and, um, it, you know, that, sort of better weaponry and that kind of thing. In this video I tried to give you a general summary of the situation concerning the self-development of AIs, it is incredible how technology makes enormous strides every year, maybe we sometimes try to look away from this factor, but now many robots are more intelligent than many humans. Only by living will we discover how the path will develop, who knows if they will be our friends or one day they will become our enemies. Do you think they could ruin humanity like Elon? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.